everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for not being able to film quite regularly in the past couple weeks. I was extremely busy, but good news is that I'll be filming a lot more regularly now and following through with your requests. Today is one of your requests and it's my skincare routine. I've been going through a lot of different um, problems that you guys actually have been asking me as well. Um, I have acne prone skin, I have sunspots collecting around my eyes, I have acne scars that I need to fade, whitening and brightening. So those are all the things that I experience as well. So these products are what I've been using to help me get through all of those problem areas. So hope you enjoy this and let's get started. Now the first thing that you want to do, of course, before going through your cleansers and toners and moisturizer is to take off all your makeup. And what I like to use are makeup wipes. I like wipes um, more than I do for makeup oils because I hate things that feel oily on my skin. And Boots number 7 is amazing. I can't live without this. A um, couple good things about these wipes, um, it doesn't feel oily. So when you wipe your makeup off, it leaves your skin feeling really clean. Another good thing is the fact that you don't need to use up an entire sheet. I like to rip these into sections and you can see this one I already ripped. This is more for taking off my eye makeup. So you can actually rip them into the length that you want. So two cleansers that I've been really loving this entire summer are my Biore cleansers. This one is the Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. It leaves your face feeling really, really cool. So I love this cleanser. I usually use this during my morning or daytime skincare. This one is more of a scrub as they call it, but it's very, um, it's a light exfoliant scrub. And I like to use this every night. Sometimes if it does get a little bit too harsh, I would just go back and use my ice cleanser. But most often I just use the pore scrub at night. And after cleansing, I go right into my toner. I have two toners to show you guys. So this is SK2 and I have to say this has to be my splurge of the summer for skincare. I've never tried SK before. I've heard amazing reviews on it so I had to try. And this is the facial treatment essence and it's supposed to balance your skin, leaving it very smooth, hydrated. And I noticed that whenever I use this toner, I wake up in the morning looking a little bit more brighter, a little bit more um, fresh. We're gonna see, I used about this much. Some people like to use a cotton swab to dab it all over the face. I personally like to warm it up between my hands and dab it on um, using just my fingertips. But of course, if you don't wanna try this, there's a cheaper alternative. And that's my Etude House Skin Myogum line. And it comes in a several line of emulsion, a toner, a moisturizer. There's a whole set. But I decided to use the smoother and I love the smoother. It pretty much functions very similarly to the SK. It smells so nice. It's a light floral scent but it's the perfect scent that wakes you up in the morning and makes you feel really good to start a new day. So whichever one you want to try or get, they're both very, very good. And for moisturizer, this is by Kose Cosmoport. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's a Japanese brand. It's Moisture Mild White Cream. And it comes in a very clean uh, container like this. And the cream itself is also the color of the container, very white, milky white and creamy. And right after the moisturizer, I like to use Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. I've never tried Kiehl's products before using this and I needed to use something to correct my dark spots. One thing to know is that when you're treating spots or sunspots, it's a gradual process in fading them. You're not going to see results overnight. It's a really gradual process. The longer you wait for some spots, it might take a little bit longer. So once you notice a little spotting here and there on your face, try to use some kind of cream or corrector for them as soon as you can. I was a bit worried at first about trying this because it looks like oil. And the woman that was helping me said that it wasn't oily and it would leave your skin feeling very clean and fresh. I tried it and I immediately fell in love with it. I only use about maybe half a syringe full, just about this much. And I've been noticing that my spots 
um, around my eyes are fading very gradually but I could see it fading and I'm just gonna repurchase another bottle of this and keep on using it um, throughout fall and until they're gone basically and then for eyes I have so many steps I'm really sorry if I'm talking so much here I spend a lot more time taking care of my skin than I do putting on makeup so this is for eyes and it's my face shop wrinkle stop absolute eye cream and this is to treat wrinkles around your eyes and I also dab it on my laugh lines here as well just to soften it a bit and I am really out of this and I have to go and repurchase it. You can see there's nothing inside anymore, but there's a little bit more of the product in the corner. So I've been using that for now. So for those of you who have little fine wrinkles around your eyes, I recommend something like this. And finally, for acne. Right now, I don't have any breakouts and that's because I do this little method every night after I put everything on my face. This is my final step. To prevent future breakouts, I don't know if anyone has ever done this before, but I tend to do it and it's been working for me. I try to put on acne cream around the areas that I normally break out to prevent future acne. So you don't need too much, just your average acne cream from the drugstore, over-the-counter um, acne cream, or if you have something prescribed, this is the time to put it on. I have three to show you. and. Honestly, they all work the same. And um, this is Zapsit, and you'll find this at most of your drugstores here in the US. Um, it's very available. These two other products my friend got for me from Taiwan um, from her recent trip, and this is Next Care Acne Gel, and this is the Dr. Joe Anti Acne Cream. Apply it a little bit onto areas where you know you tend to break out, and it's been working for me. Um, I sleep almost face down, so I get acne right around my cheeks mostly and some on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. So what I do is after I apply on everything for skincare, I take one of these, dab a little bit on my cheeks, my chin, and on top of my forehead, and I'm all ready to go. So that wraps up for today. I hope you enjoyed it and didn't find it boring. Um, I know I talked a lot, but... These products are really great. I hope you check them out if you can. And I will definitely be using these all throughout fall because they really work. And um, I'll be back very soon with a haul video, makeup tutorials, um, and a mini giveaway as well. So hope you stay tuned for that. And please check out my Instagram, wazo88. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.